Hey YouTube, this is Mimi, Too Glass to Be Stressed, back at you with another video. Um, this video is going to be a mini haul. I wanted to share with you guys some of the things that I got over Thanksgiving, <clears throat> over the holidays, over Thanksgiving, over Christmas, and the New Year's. And it's not much, but um, I just wanted to share with you guys and, you know, just show you guys what I got. Because I think you guys are like my friends in my head. And why wouldn't your friends want to share what they got, right? So, first thing I'm going to show you guys is some jewelry. Um, I'm not into, like, gold and, you know, silver and white gold and platinum and diamonds and all that. Because, to be honest with you, if you get jacked in the street, you'll be highly upset if somebody take your diamonds. So, I like to rock a lot of accessories, costume jewelry, because you can switch it up and, you know, you can uh, coordinate with your outfit and stuff like that. So, I think that's pretty cool. I want to show you guys some earrings I got. I think I wore this already in one of my videos not too long ago. Um, but I got these earrings here, these little cross earrings. I think they're so, so, so cute. I noticed a lot of people rocking them. And not to mention to represent the cross, Jesus Christ, where he died on Calvary. So that's very important for me. You know, in the Bible it says, you know, uh, pick up the cross and follow him. So... I thought this was really cute and I got um, a necklace it's not a matching necklace but I made it to look like it would match this necklace here and I think it's um I think it's real cute if you see what I'm talking about with the earrings it matches I mean it ain't a perfect match but I think it's really cute it got the little bling the little bling on the inside so I thought that was very cute and I like that I say cute like a hundred times right but anyways but it was cute then I went to this place called City Trends with my husband he was like you know wanting to find out um wanting to find him some shirts and some shorts it's City Trends in Miami I don't know where you guys are from but City Trends in Miami is like a low budget um clothes store well, it's more than clothes store because it sells <coughs> accessories for your house. It sells toys, shoes, bags, um, accessories, you know, jewelry. Um, it's a pretty much an all-base type of store, and it's very low in budget for name brand things. So, um, I brought me this necklace here, and I think this necklace is, like, super cute. It's, like, two-piece, if you guys can see. And... It's like a greenish aquash, like a teal kind of like with silver. I think this is so cute. Like you can pretty much dress this with anything. I think, but you know, like these days people are color blocking now. So I think this will look so cute with pretty much anything. I love it. I, I just love it. I think it's cute. I think it's chic. I think it's modern. It's bold. It makes a statement and it's in there. So the next thing I got was um, from Burlington. Now, um, Burlington is another store that me and my husband shop at because it's low budget. Like I said, me and my husband, we are a bargain finder. We would not spend the money on things that we can get for low. So I got these earrings here. I think these are real cute. I got this over Christmas, the holidays. It looks very Christmassy, right? And guess what? I got me a matching necklace to go with it. When y'all see this necklace, y'all gonna be like, whoa. It's so cute, it's so bold, it's so out of my box. But you know, this is 2013, and I'm like, this is gonna be a new me with the weight loss journey and loving myself, self confidence, and believing in Christ and walking with Christ and all that. I told myself, I'm just gonna walk out the box, and here goes the necklace. Isn't that beautiful? I love it. It's so bold and cute. It's different. It's chic. It's like two piece. It's like a two piece, like two chains, two chains. I'm different. I'm different. <laughs> Let me stop. I'm so not a rapper. I'm so not a gangster, but I thought that was so cute. Like, you know, it goes with the earrings here. 
and you can rock this you know you can dress this up and you can dress this down you can dress this up by putting on like uh, all black and you know beating your face with some heels or you can dress it down with some like jeans and like some real cute flats you know and you can dress that down so I thought that was really 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 cute now as far as jewelry that is it that I have for jewelry it's not much because you know I don't really shop that much but when I do shop I like to um you know get what I like and build up my little collection now the next thing that I got is from Elf. I did a little shopping online like I told you guys in my last video and I got some things online and I uh, thought this would be beneficial for me to share for those who are dipping and dabbing in beginners of makeup. Elf and Costa Scents and Black Opal and Revlon and Maybelline, all the drugstores um, makeup are totally okay. You don't have to go out there and buy like MAC and all these other naked and um urban decay and you know um ingua and all those type of name brand makeup when the low budget drugstore makeup does the same thing i mean look at my face i'm beat and beautiful you know so anyway so my package came yesterday i opened it up and it came in this little bag here all the stuff that um i purchased and everything everything in this bag that I brought cost $24.95. Actually less than that. I think it was $18. Because yeah, I think it was $18 because um that was including tax and shipping and handling. So $24.95, but everything in here was $18. $18? No, I'm lying. I don't have the paper. I don't have the paper with me, but I know it won't like over $20 for sure. It, it wasn't over $20. So, the first thing I got, and let me tell you, I have not been through these yet. This is my first time opening them, reading them, seeing them. I wanted to do this do this actually with you guys. So, um, this would kind of like be like an unboxing type of thing. So, this right here I got, you know, people may think, oh, why are you getting this? It's the Lip Primer and Plumper. I already have big lips, right? Because I'm African American, but I just love the way a lip plumper makes your lips feel. It's it's like tingly, and you kind of feel, you know, seductive type. So this is the prime part. This is the plump part. And the reason why I got the prime part was because, um, especially sometimes, like if I wear lipstick and I'm going out my lipstick tend to wear off for some reason even though i'm not like eating or licking my lips it tend to wear off so i really don't like that so when i want my lipstick to last all night or all day for an occasion or something like that i wanted to do the prime where you put this on first from what i read you put it on first and um you put your lipstick on top and it lasts all day now the plumper is this right here oh it smells good it really smells good let me smell the other one. Ooh. oh well it's, it has like a like a car smell but hey whatever anything for beauty right and um you you put the plump on top of first you put the primer you put your lipstick and then you put the plumper on top to give your lips that little seductive Mm -hmm. boom type of thing so that's one that's what I got the oh, the prime and plump plumper then I got the contouring and contouring blush and cream no contouring blush and bronzing cream oh my gosh so a lot of people I did some research a lot of people said this is similar to that um Laguni or Lagoon um contouring and blush thing palette <clears throat> and i think i heard that cost like almost 32 dollars and this only cost me three dollars and it looks the same and i got the darkest color there because i thought this would best benefit me because i'm african-american but i think this is good like the brown is dark Oh yeah, the brown is good. That's good. I like that. I really do like that. And then let's see what the 
lunch is looking like. Oh, they're cute. They're really cute. I like that. And you can actually see them on my skin. So let's say if I'm not going for a dramatic bronze contouring look, I guess I can wear these here. I guess you guys, can you guys see that? I think that's really cute. So I'm going to go ahead and um, check this out. Oh, good. I like that. So the next thing I got was the e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set with aloe, green tea, and cucumber, and vitamin A, C, and E. Now, see, I haven't even bust this open, so I'm going to have to open this up real quick. So this is how it looks. I wanted to get this because, once again, I want to invest in things that will help my makeup last all day. Now, to tell you the truth, I did my face not too long ago, and not to mention I have a makeup tutorial coming up soon, so lay around for that. Um, but my makeup stay on all day. It does. Um, and I use Milk of Magnesia to prime my face so my face does not get oily at all. But sometimes, depending from six to eight hours later in the day, you can kind of see a little glow on my nose. It's not disgusting. To be honest with you, it's still real cute to a point where I can really keep going on the day without really blotting. But I want to invest in something that will help my makeup stay more matte to my face and I think this will help you know doesn't really have a smell to it which is good I like that so yeah and you don't need much matter of fact let me let me try it now kind of excited let me try I just did my makeup not too long ago Whew. feels kind of refreshing all right all right let's move right along now the next thing i got was the <coughs> complete coverage concealer palette um from elf now i debated on getting <coughs> i'm sorry i feel like i got a frog in my throat Debating on getting the palette from Coastal Sense, the either Eclipse palette or the cam Camouflage palette. Um, but I thought, let me try this. It was only $3 and a palette is a palette, right? Um, so pretty much this is how it looks. And you have, you know, the different colors here. And I think that, you know, I would probably uh, use either this or this underneath my eyebrow and this and this underneath my eyes. It all depends on how I feel, what look I'm looking for, whatever. And it comes with a little brush. I probably would not be using this brush. It's so little, but I think it's cool. And it comes with a little mirror here. I like it. I really do like it. This, I actually did crack this one open and kind of like rub my finger on the light one to see how it look. Um, let me see. I just blended that one in right there. I mean, I don't know. Let's see. You know, I have a love and hate relationship with concealers because I have a lot of imperfections on my skin, which really drive me crazy. And I want to find the best thing to um, conceal them, you know, but without looking like I really have a lot of makeup. So I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. The journey begins. And then the next thing I got was the eyebrow kit from um, Elf once again. Um, I hate the harsh eyebrows. I like the natural look. I've been using the Milani Brow uh, Tint Fill-In Pencil, and I've been doing okay for my eyebrows, but I wanted to try something else, so I thought I'd try the e.l.f. Eyebrow Kit, and this is how it looks. And I think this is cute. I think this right here you use to um, fill it in and, you know, make it darker, and this right here you lighten it up. I think it looks good. In the front, I think you're supposed to use the. I think you're supposed to use that in the front. I think like this, kind of make it look more natural. I guess I don't know. I guess I'll be watching some makeup tutorials concerning how to properly use this. But I'm assuming you fill it in with the dark, and then you put the light either at the edge or wherever you want to lighten it up at. You know, because you don't want to look like Oscar from Sesame Street. 
And the last and final thing from Elf that I got finally is a stempling brush. I've been hearing so much things about this, how um how it uh, really applies foundation very well. This is how it looks. It's so soft. Oh yes, yes. I love this. It's so soft. It's so cute. Um, I love it. So I will be putting on my foundation with this next time. And hopefully next time, if I feel like putting up another makeup tutorial, I'll be using these products instead of the products that I currently have and just see how it comes out. And hopefully I like them and I won't, and I won't have to send nothing back. So the next thing that I got was from Ulta. Yay! Now look, now. Let me tell you guys something. This is that was my first time going to Ulta. I've never been to Ulta. I hear everything about Ulta, 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 and I was like, "What is an Ulta?" And I finally Google it, and I was like, "Oh my God, we have an Ulta by my house!" I was like, "Let me check it out." I went into Ulta, and I was like, ah, "The light!" I was like. I love it. That is a candy shop for the most girliest girl ever. I love the little cute scented perfume it sells. Makeup, perfume, shampoo, brushes, um, hair things, and all type of stuff. I loved it. Now, I wanted to go to Ulta for the simple fact of getting a peach concealer. I heard that Ulta carry NYX products, and NYX to me in Dade County is hard to find. Like, I don't know where the NYX booth or store is unless I go online and order it. Um, so I was like, oh, let me go and see if they have a peach concealer because I've heard on the YouTube land that NYX carry a peach concealer. And I heard a lot of good things about peach concealer because it covers a lot of uh, dull, dark spots underneath the eyes. And I have a lot of acne scars and scars on my face that I want to try to cover up as I'm getting rid of them because I'm using Ambi Fade Cream. I don't want to bleach my skin. I just want to fade the dark spots. So... As I'm going through the transition of getting my skin and my health to a better place, I want to try to cover that up. Like, let's be real. I want to. So what? You know, I want to cover it up. So, um, I was disappointed. I didn't find what I was looking for at Alta, but I did come out with something else, which is awesome. I don't know if you guys ever heard of the gelish, the shellac type of, you know, nails. It's the manicures. They're nail polishes, but they last up to two weeks with no chips. It is so true, 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 true. Now, this right here is the kit. Very simple. And I paid only $70 for it. $70. I did some research um, on where to go get it. Um, I did Amazon, eBay. The lamps was like $25, polishes was like $15 to $12, $12 to $15, and you needed to get the, the kit to start off with, which is the base coat, the polish, and the top coat. All that would came up to like $100 plus shipping and handling, and I was like, let me see if I can find another alternative that will be cheaper and come with everything that I'm looking for, because it's really not that hard, you know? Like, to be honest with you, the nail polish I have on now, it looks a hot mess, but this nail polish literally been on my fingers for two weeks and a half, and I'm real rough with my hand. Like seriously, real rough. I like scrub floors. I clean. I cook every other day because my husband loves to eat. Uh, I work in the doctor's office, so I have to constantly wash my hand and apply lotion all day. So my hand really goes through a lot. So for two weeks and a half, and it looks like this. Like this hand is still. Some of the polishes on this hand is still okay. And I kind of been peeling them off too. Like, you know, when I'm watching TV, I'm like, I don't know. But anyways, but I think it's real good. It lasts. Because usually when I go get a regular manicure with a regular nail polish, one day, two day tops is gone. Like literally start chipping, looking a mess. So I really love this. And I wanted to invest into it because if you go to the Chinese store, they charge you $20 to apply that. $20. So imagine you go do this every month or every two weeks. You know, I usually just go every month. I usually just take it off and polish with regular nail polish and go back every month. So I do manicure pedicures once a month. My toes still look cute. They really, I don't really do nothing with my toes unless you like kicking rocks all day, then you need help. But 
anyways get back to the point so basically this is how it looks on the inside it comes with the lamp it comes with the acetone it comes with the top coat it comes with one nail polish it comes with i'm sorry it comes with the base coat one nail polish and the top coat and um i tried it the, last night <laughs> my husband's gonna kill me but i tried it on one of his fingers right because i want to do a tutorial on this and I will be I will be posting a video soon doing a tutorial how I take these off and put this on to show you guys whether or not you know it's worth the hype you know so we'll see how it goes but I did one of his nails last night it was so cute the lamp actually worked it cured perfectly the polish was cute and when I told him I was like he was like, all right take this off of me I was like baby I'm gonna have to soak it all he was like soak it all where's the nail polish remover I was like it doesn't work like that baby that's gonna be on your finger for two weeks he was like nah 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 I can't do that I gotta go to work what's this he was <laughs> he was so <laughs> he was so upset but all I could do is laugh but yeah uh, he actually peeled it off like I was like, you're not supposed to do that. You're supposed to soak it off. But he peeled it off because um, the gel nail polish is a little thicker than regular nail polish. In reality, you could peel it off. The same way you could take acrylics off your nails. You can bite them off. You know how we used to do back in the days. But that is not the proper way to do it. You would damage your nail. You were just peeling off layers of nails. And you're weakening the base of your nail bed. So... Anyways, so this is the total haul. Um, hope you guys liked it. I will I will be doing a makeup tutorial with the e.l.f. products that I purchased online. And I will be doing a nail tutorial um, or a do-it-yourself. I, I don't want to use the word tutorial because... So, my sister-in-law going to get me too for saying this. I so feel like I'm not there yet as far as like being like, oh, I'm showing you guys how to do it. No, I'm just sharing with you guys what I learned and what I'm doing. And if you guys pick up and you guys like, just, you know, get on the bandwagon. But anyways, I'll be doing a do-it-yourself nail thing. And I hope you guys like the jewelry. I hope you guys like the face. I will uh, put a link to the makeup tutorial if I haven't posted up yet. I'm not sure. But anyways, lay around for all the tutorials. Thank you again for watching before I continue and ramble on. Deuces.